Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Biochemistry by Dr. Tejesh Shah. Today we will see about the metabolism of sulfur containing amino acids that is methionine and cysteine. So let us first discuss about the few key points. So methionine and cysteine key points. Both are sulfur containing amino acids. Methionine is essential amino acid so it must be provided in the diet. Cysteine is non-essential amino acids and it is synthesized from methionine in our body. Both are glucogenic amino acids means both their carbon skeletons are utilized for the production of the glucose or synthesis of glucose. Cysteine is synthesized from methionine and serine where the methionyl will provide the sulfur atom and serine will provide the carbon and nitrogen atom. Cysteine is synthesized from the cysteine upon oxidation. So methionine, cysteine and cysteine both these three are considered as sulfur containing amino acids. So let us first discuss about the methionine metabolism. So methionine is metabolized in our body by two stage process. In that first the methionine after activation is converted to S adenosyl methionine and during the stage 1 process there is removal or transfer of methyl group from the methionine and the reactions are called the transmethylation reactions. By undergoing these reactions now methionine is called demethylated portion of the methionine which undergo the stage 2 process so as to synthesize or formation of the cysteine and cysteine. So by these two process the methionine is metabolized in our body. So first we see the transmethylation reaction that is the stage 1 process where the methyl group is removed from the methionine. So first in the transmethylation reaction there is transfer of the methyl group from the methionine to the acceptor but the prerequisite here is there is activation of methionine is required so as to produce as adenosine methionine. So let us see the reaction. So methionine with the help of the adenosine triphosphate and the help of the enzyme methionine adenosyl transferase that is hydrolysis will form the active methyl group and the methionine so as to form S adenosyl methionine it is also called active methionine. After activation it carries out certain transmethylation reactions. So we see the examples of the transmethylation reactions. So the active methionine transfers the methyl group to the methyl acceptor so as to it is converted to S adenosyl homocysteine. Now under transmethylation reaction certain important compounds are synthesized. The examples are here guanidoacetic acid upon methylation creatine. This we have already seen under the glycine metabolism. Ethanolamine upon three successive methyl group acceptance it is converted to form choline. Nicotinamide is converted to N-methyl nicotinamide. Norepinephrine is converted to epinephrine. Carnosine is converted to anserin and acetyl serotonin is converted to melatonin and cytosine converted to 5-methyl cytosine. These are other examples where homocysteine is converted to L-methionine and uracil is converted to the thiamine. So these are certain transmethylation reactions. So this completes the stage 1 process of methionine metabolism. Now stage 2 that is catabolism methionine and also you can say it is synthesis of cysteine and cysteine. So first methionine upon activation to form S adenosyl methionine that we have already seen. Then S adenosyl methionine transfer the methyl group acceptor so as to convert into the S adenosyl homocysteine and the enzyme here is the methyl transferase. Now S adenosyl homocysteine upon hydrolysis with the enzyme homocysteinase to form homocysteine. Now this homocysteine also converted back or utilized for the synthesis of methionine again with the help of homocysteine methyl transferase 
well the methyl group is donated to the homocysteine by n5 methyl tetrahydrofolate that example we have already considered under the one carbon metabolism but here the important point is vitamin b12 is also required in this reaction and this reaction you can remember upon the folate trap now next this homocysteine with the help of l serine and the enzyme cystathionine beta synthase form cystathionine cystathionine upon lyase and the cofactor pyridoxine pyridoxide to form cysteine and homocysteine this cysteine is held to again synthesize cysteine okay the reaction we will see later on so there is formation of cysteine and homocysteine homocysteine upon d amine is reaction it is converted to alpha ketobutyrate and alpha ketobutyrate upon decarboxylation to form propionyl coenzyme a and this propionyl coenzyme a through the series of reaction it is entered into the tca cycle and further into the gluconeogenic pathway so that's why methionine and cysteine both are glucogenic amino acids now we see the reaction of cysteine to cysteine so two molecules of cysteine upon oxidation will synthesize or form the cysteine here you can see the disulfide bond or linkage now cysteine is also again to the backward back reaction it is again converted to form two cysteine and that is the reduction reaction okay now the importance of this uh, the disulfide bond is it helps in the stabilization of the structures of the protein in the form of interchain or intrachain disulfide bond okay now we see the cysteine catabolism so cysteine is catabolized in our body by three reactions okay first is the transamination reaction so let us see cysteine transaminated with the alpha ketoglutarate to form beta mercapto pyruvate by the enzyme cysteine transaminase then beta mercapto pyruvate upon desulfuration is converted to form pyruvate and hydrogen sulfide h2s which upon reduction with the help of glutathione is converted to the sulfide and sulfide through the oxidation reaction converted to the sulfate now this sulfate have two fate in our body it is either excreted through the urine okay and sometimes also measured as a one of the normal constituent of the urine the taste for the sulfate and the sulfate is converted to form active sulfate that is called paps the full form of paps is phosphoadenosine for sulfate that is called the active sulfate it is synthesized with the help of the atp okay you can see in this structure now the importance of this active sulfate is it helps in the synthesis of sulfatides glycosaminoglycans that is dermatan sulfate keratan sulfate and some detoxification of alcoholic and phenolic compounds next the decarboxylation so cysteine upon decarboxylation with the help of pyridoxal phosphate it is converted to the beta mercapto ethanolamine and it is utilized for the synthesis of coenzyme a along with the beta alanine third catabolic step is the direct oxidation where the cysteine undergo direct oxidation to form cystic acid and the next step is the decarboxylation to form taurine taurine is helped to synthesize the taurocol so now we see the cysteine metabolic functions first it helps in the formation of the glutathione this is the link of my video on glutathione where i have explained in detail the metabolic functions of the glutathione and important key points regarding the glutathione i will also provide the link in the description also so you can refer it where i have explained the master cycle gamma glutamyl cycle free radical scavenger action of the glutathione and detoxification reactions second function formation of the taurine which helps in the formation of taurocholic acid third is the active sulfate in the form of phosphoadenosyl phosphosulfate to undergo the sulfuration reactions and the stabilization of proteins in the form of disulfide bridges 
So these are some of the important functions of the cysteine. So in a summary, if we see the methionine and cysteine are sulfur containing amino acid, methionine after activation as adenosyl methionine undergo the various transmethylation reaction to form these important compounds in our body and it is converted to as adenosyl homocysteine which with the help of the serine synthesize the cysteine and cysteine helps to synthesize pyruvate which undergo the glucose formation so it is glucogenic amino acid also helps in synthesize of the coenzyme A, taurine and glutathione. So these are my references for this presentation. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button to get all the notifications. Thank you all.